Hello and welcome back to another Marichella's video. Now to get in the spooky spirit throughout October, I'm going to be creating a spooky story within the Garden of Grounded every week. Let me know in the comments below your own spooky story and maybe I'll pick a few, recreate them and give you a shout out. Now enjoy. The Grub Diggo. A black ox beetle wanted to go hunting in a part of northern upper yard where few bugs had ever hunted. He travelled to a trading post and tried to find a guide to take him, but no one would do it. It was too dangerous, they said. Finally, he found a weevil who needed money badly, and he agreed to take him. The weevil's name was Bill Bob Huckleberry Bobbert, third of his name and first to the throne. They made camp near a large tyre. For three days they hunted, but they had nothing to show for it. The third night, a windstorm came up. They lay by their tent, listening to the wind howling and the grass whipping back and forth. To see the storm better, the hunter opened up the tent flap, and what he saw startled him. There wasn't a breath of air stirring, and the grass was standing perfectly still. Yet, he could hear the wind howling, and the more he listened, the more it sounded as if it was calling the weevil's name. Pill Bob Huckleberry Bob at third of his name first to the throne, it called. Pill Bob Huckleberry Bob at first of his name first to the throne. I must be losing my mind, the hunter thought. But the weevil had gotten out of his lean-to. He was huddled in a corner of the tent, facing the wall, cowering. What's all this about? The hunter asked. It's nothing, Bill Bob said. But the wind continued to call him, and Bill Bob became more tense and more restless. Bill Bob, Huckleberry Bob, a third of his name, first to the throne. It called again. Bill Bob, Huckleberry Bob, a third of his name, first to the throne. Suddenly, he turned. He began to run from the tent, but the hunter closed the tent door. You can't leave me out here, the hunter shouted. Then the wind called again, and the weevil broke loose and ran into the darkness. The hunter could hear him screaming as he went. Again and again he cried, Oh, my fiery feet, my burning feet of fire. Then his voice faded away and the wind died down. At daybreak, the hunter followed Bill Bob's tracks. They went through the grass and down towards the cliff. But soon he noticed something strange. The steps Bill Bob had taken got longer and longer. They were so long no weevil could have made them. It was as if something had helped him to hurry away. The hunter followed the tracks along the cliff, but there they disappeared. At first, he thought the Bill Bob had fallen, but there wasn't anything there. Then he thought that something had pulled him off into the sky, but that made no sense. As he stood wondering what happened, the wind picked up again. Soon it was howling as it had the night before. Then he heard Bill Bob's voice. It was coming from down below, and again he heard Bill Bob screaming, My fiery feet, my burning feet! But there was nothing to be seen. Now, the hunter wanted to leave this place as fast as he could. He went back up to the camp and packed. Weeks later, he reached civilization. The following year, he went back up to that area again. He went to the same trading post to look for a guide. The people there couldn't explain what had happened to Bill Bob that night, but they had not seen him since. Maybe it was the grub to go, one of them said, and he laughed. It's supposed to come with the wind. It drags you along at great speed until your feet are burned away, and more of you than that. Then it carries you into the ground and kills you. It's just, you know, it's just a crazy story, but that's what some of the weevils say. A few days later, the hunter was at the trading post again. A weevil came up to his lean-to and sat. The hunter thought there was something familiar about him. He asked, Are you Bill Bob Huckleberry Bob at third of his name first to the throne? The weevil didn't answer. Do you know anything about him? No answer. He began to wonder if something was wrong, if the weevil needed help, but he couldn't see his face. Are you alright? He asked. No answer. To get a better look at him, he lit the fire, then he screamed. Ah! There was no weevil there. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, so spooky. Ooh, shiver me timbers, mateys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, these aren't my stories, funnily enough. These are stories that I found on the internet, and I have recreated them and added my own little tweaks to them, which are a bit a bit stupid. But if you're enjoying this, make sure to like the video so it shares around and people can get to see. There's people who are fans of, of horror stories, crazy, wacky horror stories, and also fans of the game Grounded. Like I said, if you like this stuff, leave your own spooky stories in the comments below. I'll read through them and I might pick some and recreate them in Grounded, but until then, until the next story, have a very spooky October, my!